up everyone and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Um, oh, right, I did have an announcement. Because of the way commenting has changed on YouTube, it's going to be harder for me to keep up with comments, so if it takes me longer to respond or see your comment than normal, blame YouTube, basically. There's nothing I can do to change it. Okay, that's our spoiled meat. I think we were getting to the point where we needed to start building a shack, right? Why oh, do I have 110 stag cuts with nothing done to them? Oh, I think I was out of string or something, wasn't I? Yeah, and I don't have... Okay, I think I remember now. I was keeping it in there so I could process the stag fur first. Sorry about that, hamster's being loud. Again. It looks like they're not going to stop anytime soon. Because, you know, hamsters are assholes, basically. It's still processing. Do I have anything on me? Yeah, I still have a bit of fox on me. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna... take more out of my clothes, basically. I don't want to risk this, um, all this food going spoiled. Because despite being capable of living on spoiled food, I would rather not do so, basically. 110 cuts, so. C, D. Should be able to get most of it done with five cords, and then what's not done, I'll just roast, basically. I don't know why I'm saying basically so much today. But we do need to start working on a shack so we can smoke some of this food. Because we're running very low on time left where we can actually dry it. The season's going to get too humid in probably another week, maybe two. So, definitely not looking forward to that. Hopefully my hamsters aren't picking up on the mic because they're not stopping whatever it is they're doing that's making so much noise for whatever reason. It's important to them, apparently. So I probably should be saving these boards because I do need to build at least a small smokehouse. But I'm not going to, so whatever, basically. And these should be done pretty soon. Yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna hold them over to my cellar. I'm not sure what kind of house I want to build, actually. Because normally what I would do is make just a very small smokehouse with a fireplace, one unit, or one tile of ground, like flooring, and then just 
seven walls and a door around it. That's the minimum you need to smoke me. And I would just expand that as I get more materi material to work with. I also want to leave some of these trees around. So I think I want to leave this patch of trees alone. And the reason for that is because you can only get spruce twigs from these spruce trees, the Christmas tree looking things. And you can get branches from these other two. And I think you can get bark from one of them, but I'm not sure which. And bark is really useful for tanning. Because if you accidentally like lose the animal fat or don't have enough animal fat for whatever reason, then you can use bark instead. Which I don't know how that works. I'm not really an expert on such things. But it works in the game, and that's pretty much all I care about. We're too tired to stay on our feet. So, we're gonna need 7 times 6 is what? 42? Yeah, 42 logs, which means 42 trees cut down. Um, probably another tree for the flooring, 43, and maybe one more. So probably 44 trees we're gonna have to cut down in order to build a house. Which is a lot, but it's doable. How's this going? Okay, still work in progress. And I don't know, it's a lot of material, but it only takes probably a couple weeks to finish. Oh, it's late evening. Why am I awake? Okay, that's better. And this should be done. So I'm gonna finish this before I get back to cutting trees, make sure it doesn't rot or anything. I actually remembered to start my timer this time, and I know what time I started. So I can actually try to prevent this episode from going way too long like the last few. Oh yeah, speaking of my upload schedule, um, I know I got a few new subs and viewers because of this project. Normally I try to update every other day, but I'm very bad at doing so. And I've been updating every day lately because my health has been significantly better than it normally is. So basically what I'm saying is don't get too used to me uploading every day. Because it's not going to happen, basically. <laughs> I know that kind of sucks and some of you seem to really like the upload schedule, but it's not viable to keep this going for me. Especially if you noticed um, the last episode I said my jaw cracked in the middle of it. Well, my jaw still hurts a little bit, and I actually had tr a lot of trouble speaking yesterday. So that's a big part of why I didn't put up an episode. Or, yeah, that's why I didn't put up an episode the other day. So, basically I record when I can, and not when I can't. <laughs> eat more. This character needs to eat a lot. Okay, so we have, what, two, four, six, eight trees down right now. And some slender trunks, which will actually be useful in building the house. You do need slender tree trunks as well. So I'm gonna go check the traps. 
I can remember where they are. And yeah, this is going to be a thing. Normally I play character a character like more often than this when I'm not recording. So I don't need to remember as much for as long. Hmm. This trap fence is very short. I don't think I like that. Probably expand it up this way. Mm, I don't think I need to though. Boom. So I forgot this now. An elk shaped figure is all I can see. Okay, it's a silhouette basically. Oh, I wanna. Actually, I'll leave the javelin on. I wanna try to catch up to this guy. Because we should still have a couple days. Zoom out, please. Okay. We should still have a couple days where we can. Shit, he saw me. And he's going to run. Actually, I need to zoom out and see which direction he runs in. He ran off this way. I would like to catch this guy though, because it would be a nice food surplus for us. I could do with the hides, honestly. Oh, he saw me. I can't hide for shit, basically. That's what I'm learning from this. <laughs> the odds I got him. It doesn't look like it. it. Looks like he ran right past my traps. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, you know, he's in the area, so... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can cut him off this way. if the game will stop lagging. That's one thing I really don't like about zooming out is, I don't know why, but the CPU use spikes when I'm zoomed out. I guess it's just because it has to display more and update more when I move. But it makes the fan kick on earlier and all sorts of annoying stuff. So, I don't think I'm going to find him. What I was hoping for is that I would run into him and scare him off in the direction of my traps, basically. Is going this direction or no? They're going northwest. That doesn't really make sense. So yeah, I guess he's just. Okay, well, I got pretty close. to cut him off up this way and push him east. But yeah, I definitely need to expand this trap fence. I think I heard something over this way. I was moving too quickly and not paying enough attention. So 
So, maybe I got lucky and spooked him into the fence. I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Fence should be over this way somewhere. too far south for my fence. But yeah, I don't think I managed to scare him into it. That's disappointing. Now I can't even seem to find it. <laughs> Which is kind of embarrassing, honestly. Yeah, one of my problems with having a small fence is I tend to lose things. I know roughly where it is, but I can't remember how to get there from here, basically. I think it's at, like, the farthest south of this. This map tile. I know it was like near the border of the two. I think I went too far south. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't noticed, I have a very poor sense of direction. So you should probably not trust me to navigate for anything if the situation ever arises. I don't know why any of you would have me as a navigator in any situation, to be honest, but in case you do. Okay. I don't know why it says it's just out of sight. It must be going by the old messages where this would have been out of sight. But, now I can totally see this guy. It's a little hurt. Yeah, it knows I'm here. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Click on the window so it actually registers and zoom in. Hmm. So you finally go into the woods? Yeah. Did it stay in the woods though? Don't know. So he was still going northeast, but he might have turned. Northeast again, supposedly. Ah, here we go. It's more east than northeast, but... Okay, southeast, northeast again. He's zigzagging. Yeah, this jerk is zigzagging through the woods on me. It's annoying, it makes them harder to follow, basically. Alright, north or south? North. Oh, can you see me? Nope. Should have taken the shot there. He definitely knows I'm here now. <sighs> West. Okay, well. Northeast again. For some reason I don't believe that, but I'll go with it. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can actually see how many is just like off screen. Nope. Turn southwest. Why would he do that exactly? still running, so there's no point hiding. Alright, he's over here. Yeah, I see his tracks. Okay, chasing him out into the open. Let's see if I can see him. Nope, he's gone. There you are. You can see me though. Slightly fatigued. Okay, this shouldn't go on too much longer then. I should stay zoomed out until I know what direction he's running. Where'd you go? Oh, damn. Horse tracks. Ah, there you are. I see your ass. Hard to hide that big old elk, elk ass, I guess. Are you tired yet? Can you stop running away, please? I'm not even close. I don't have any food with me. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to walk after him. Uh, is he slowing down at all? Nope. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this. If you press F1 while you're looking at them with F3, you get a little description. And for most of the animals, they have a cool little picture too. So, biggest animal, about two meters high, three meters long. Only males are horned. It's heavy as 600 kilo. Very rewarding kill. Typically one gets about 180 from an adult and 80 from a calf. Most active during twilight, around sunset and sunrise. Eat leaves, shoots twigs, and aspen bark. So that's something I actually kind of forgot about when I was hunting previous encounters, but it's something neat. I like when I stay out in the open like this. It makes my life a lot easier. No, I don't want to go wading through the water. That'll slow me down too much. there's a way to walk in a direction other than forward. Okay, he's definitely tired now. Zoom in, please. Thank you. Yep, breathless. Okay. 
this is kind of a waste, but I want to practice my archery and honestly, a live animal who can barely move is a good target. So I'm just going to shoot a couple of these bad arrows. I don't want to waste my good arrows because if they land in the water I might not be able to get them back. Yeah, okay, that went poorly. So let's grab a javelin. Wait for the game to catch up. And see if we can stab it in the leg. Um, solid hit. Okay, is it minor puncture in the hind leg? Okay, so that's not great, but something. It can still stand, but it can't walk very well. Good. Do I have a blunt weapon on me, or just the axe and javelins? Um. Looks like just the axe and javelins. So I'm gonna take the javelin off and dodge the elk, wield the axe, counter strike. Not counter strike the game, counter strike the actual. I'm striking at it. And try to smack it in the head with an axe. Okay. And skin you. So, that went pretty well. I didn't manage to chase into the trap, but I got it anyway. I do need to expand that trap fence though. And I think once I get back to camp I'm going to cut the episode because it's been about half an hour. That's pretty long. I'm surprised this character is as strong as she is. Most of my characters cannot carry an entire like elk's worth of meat back. Okay, first things first, I need to eat. Might only be able to eat one of these actually, but nope, I get two. Drink. <clears throat> I need to clean it first. And I'll do the hide working stuff and then we can cut the episode, which will be at a, almost exactly 30 minutes. Yeah, right, 29 minutes, I think. So I'll cut it here. See you guys next time. Bye!